Yeah, if you don't mind, I will start from English because uh, yeah, Italian yeah. is it's, it's not my uh, very yeah, skilled yeah, language. Thank understand. you. Uh, after uh, our uh, meeting, I told our viewers that I will talking about the monster, Don Massimo, a monster. Yeah, uh, uh, Laura is a baby girl. Yeah. So, but what does the monster is afraid for? Uh, basically, uh, I think that the monster is afraid to to not reach his point. I mean, uh, is, is just afraid that Laura is not gonna fall in love with them after 365 days. So basically this is the big challenge for him, you know, make her fall in love with them. And it's, uh, it's, it's, it's hard because usually in normal life we can't just tell someone, hey, love me, you know what I mean? So we, it's, it's this, this I think that's, is the biggest challenge for him. Yeah. Uh, your character, film character, Don Massimo, uh, is some kind of a superman, or over human being. But uh, my question is, uh, um, who who is the Don Massimo when he's alone, when nobody watching him? I mean, it's uh, it's just a human, as you told as you told me. Like Don Massimo is is a kind of superhero, even if I don't think so. But when he's alone, he's just a normal guy. Is 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 just with his his soul and he has to deal with this problem he has a lot of problem because imagine someone has a lot of money a lot of power bring a lot of problems so it just a, a kind of lonely soul you know and he is just trying to to get better during his life what are his most fragile places i mean psychologically uh, you talk, you're talking about massimo yes about massimo i mean it's 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 um I think that he's, uh, he's uh, sex addictive, so he's someone who's always thinking about sex, always thinking about sex, but taking sure out... He's very sensitive. It is very sensitive, but this is, uh, this is I think, this the, the most uh, important thing for him is try to escape from sex, because he always uses sex to, even to take out his anger, he uses sex. He used sex to just, it's, it's just like for him, like drinking a glass of wine, but without love. So basically when he met Laura, it's uh, kind of, yeah, it's sex, but with love. So it's different, you know. Massimo and Laura are very skilled about making sex, but not love. But about love, probably it had a, they have a chance to have a first time in love. What did they... Um, actually learn from each other in love? Actually, this is, in your question, that was the answer. Love. Mm -hmm. They just love to love somebody because Laura is, she doesn't feel good with his boyfriend. Massimo, she doesn't, she doesn't make sex without feeling love. So, she, so basically they, they understand, they, they split the love. And love is something deep, you know, and it's something not easy. Uh, it's deep because it's nothing not easy to feel. So basically, that's what they, what they, what, what they share. Did you ever mention? Did you, did you ever uh, felt the risk about taking the role like this about your future career? No, never, mm -hmm. never. Mm -hmm. No, because I mean, it's uh, Massimo is Massimo. It's a character. It's a fantasy. It's 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 it was built from a fantasy. Uh, mind and meets me. I'm just an actor <laughs> who plays the role of Massimo, and uh, I, I never thought about this. I just, I just was really enthusiastic to, to just understand the psychological part of someone who's who has, you know, sex addictive. You know, it's, it's, it was just another challenge. Uh, I've heard your song, very yeah. nice. And uh, my question is, uh, what have you, your personally, makes you alive? Personally, yes. Oh, uh, like, I, I, I love to work. Every time I work, I feel alive. Every time I stop working for a certain period, I feel like I'm not living. So basically work, yeah. I'm working all the time, 15, 13, 11 hours per day. So I sleep all the time a little, <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, like, this is what makes me alive, work, working. Because with work, I work with the heart. And heart gives me, makes me alive, so... As you said, music, acting, you know, I like to write songs. Actually, I, 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 I've, I've done a, an album and um, I'm going to have the first concert in Warsaw, the Palladium, oh. the 1st of March. And uh, all, all of this makes me alive, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I want to tell you Massimo, Don Massimo. That's automatic, you know. <laughs> But Michele, uh, what do you think about Polish women? Be honest. honest. Be honest. Be cruel if you want. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I mean, I, I mean, Polish women are uh, are really, really, really gentle, really warm. Because I get on my Instagram, on my Instagram, thousands of messages every day, and I feel that they really warm. They're very beautiful, of course. Polish women are famous all around the world for their beauty. So uh, I, I just feel like I'm, I just feel like home here when I'm here. Uh, of course, sometimes I, I when I look at that beautiful girl, I feel I would like to, but <clears throat> to talk to her. But it's difficult for me because I'm always afraid that they can. I don't know. I don't write to anybody because I'm afraid that they're gonna make a screenshot or you know. So I'm, I try to always be really polite. Yeah. Could you say something in Polish uh, instead of koszula? Yeah. <laughs> in, you know. Because Blanka said that koszula, that's your uh, favorite word in Polish language. Is What? that true? Koszula, shirt. I, I, I thought marynarka. Marynar oh, marynarka. Yeah, marynarka or mamna imię Miki z tym aktorem. Well, it's, wow. it is. Wow. <laughs> Could you say something especially for us, for a red carpet TV? Um, in Polish? <laughs> in Polish, of course. I don't know how to okay, say it. Okay, so, so in, in Italian language, your, your own language. Okay, quindi se, seguite, seguite il film 365 giorni perché sarà una bomba atomica qua in Polonia. Grazie. I'm in love. <laughs> thank you so thank much. You, thank you, thank thank you, you, thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day, too.